Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to my online lesson on soccer toa. So soccer toa is used to find either missing angles or missing sides in right angled triangles. So it's sort of a step up from Pythagoras because Pythagoras only deals with missing sides. So this question here says calculate the value of y, give your answer correct to one decimal place. So the first step that I'm going to do with any soccer toa question is label the sides on my triangle. So we've got three standard words we use to label these. The first one, probably the easiest to label, is the hypotenuse. You might have heard this word before with Pythagoras. The hypotenuse is the longest side, so I'm just going to label my longest side here H for hypotenuse. Now the next word that we use is called opposite. So in the question, they'll either give you one of the angles or they'll ask you to find one. So the important angle in this question is this 40 here. So the side opposite this, so directly opposite, is my Y. So that is my opposite. I'm going to label that O. So my final side must be my adjacent. The other way of telling it's the adjacent is that it's always in between the angle that they've told me or the angle they're asking me to find and the right angle. And adjacent means next to, so it's next to both of these angles. So that's my adjacent. Now there's one of these sides that is completely irrelevant. I don't have any information on it and I'm not asked to find out what it is. And in this example, it's the hypotenuse. So I'm going to cross out my hypotenuse, so I'm not going to be using that. So the next important thing we need to remember is our formula triangles for Sokotoa. So these look like this. Those are my formula triangles. So I now need to decide which one of these three formula triangles am I going to use. So if you look at what I've just done labelling my triangle, I have got my O and my A. So I'm looking which one of these formula triangles has O and A in it. Well, it's this last one here, this TOA. So I need to decide how I'm going to use this formula triangle. Now this question is asking me to find out what O is. So if I cover up the O, I am left with T multiplied by A. So I'm just going to make a note of this. This formula triangle is telling me that O is T multiplied by A. Now I'm going to fill this in properly. So O is the value of Y, if I look at my diagram. The T stands for tan. This S here stands for sine. This is cos and this is tan on my calculator. So this T here stands for tan. And sine, cos and tan always go with an angle. And it's going to be the angle that I used up here in my question. So it's going to be tan of 40. Multiplied by, and A is 12.5. And that's all the hard work done really, because I now just have to type this here into my calculator. And I'll get the final answer. So when I type that in my calculator, I get 10.488. It's asking me to round to one decimal place, so my answer is 10.5. I'm just going to double check that my answer seems reasonable. So I know this side here is 12.5, and I've got the answer here that this side is 10.5. I know the diagram is not drawn accurately, but it does look reasonable that that would be 10.5. So here's a second example. This time I'm asked to find a missing angle. So it's going to be an extra step with my working out. So I'm going to start as I did before. I'm going to label my triangle. So hypotenuse is the longest side. That's going to be this 10.6 here, opposite the right angle. My opposite is opposite this x here. So opposite the x is over here. And the adjacent is in between the right angle and that angle. So it's this side at the bottom. That's my adjacent. This time, the side that I don't know anything about and I'm not really interested in is this O over here. So I'm going to cross that out. 
So now I need to draw out my formula triangles for Sokotoa. So this time I'm looking for a formula triangle that has A and H in it. So it's going to be the middle one here, the K. So my question is asking me to find the missing angle. The missing angle is within this cos here, because cos, sine and tan always go with an angle. So I'm going to cover up my cos and I'm left with cos is A divided by H. So I'm just going to make a note of that. I've just said that cos is A divided by H. Let's put some values with that. So cos of, and this goes with an angle, but the angle it actually goes with is that X. So I can't put a number in here. I'm just going to have to put the X. So cos of whatever X is equals A is 8.2 divided by H, which is 10.6. So I now need to find out what x is, because the question isn't asking me to find out the value of cos x, it's asking me to find out x. So I've got to find this. Now to get rid of this cos here in front of the x, I need to do the opposite of cos. And if you look on your calculator, there's a button that looks like this. It says cos and it's got a little power of minus 1. You have to press shift and then the cos button on your calculator to get it to appear. So if I do the inverse of cos here, I have to do it on this side of my equation as well. So what I actually type in to find x is cos minus 1 of 8.2 divided by 10.6. So when I type that in my calculator by pressing shift and then the cos button and making sure I put 8.2 divided by 10.6 in the brackets, I get 39.323 and lots of decimal places. And my question wants three significant figures, so that's going to be 39.3. Again, I can check and see that my answer looks reasonable. This time I was asked to find an angle, and this here is an acute angle, and I do get an acute angle answer. Again, the diagram is not drawn accurately, but it does seem reasonable that this angle here would be 39.3 degrees. Here's two questions for you to try. So the first one is a more complex one where you're asked to find the missing angle. And the second one is a more standard question where you have to find a missing side. If you pause the video now, you can unpause when you're ready to see the full solution. So here's the full work solution. So the first question, you should have used your TOA, so you should be using TAN. And you have to use the inverse of TAN to find the angle which is 34.8 degrees to one decimal place. And the second one, the side BC is the side at the bottom, which this time is in fact the opposite. So to find that side, we're using SO, which is our SIN, and times in SIN 58 by 16. So I get 13.6 to three significant figures. Thank you for watching.